Okay, let's try this again because I thought I was filming and the camera wasn't on. I'm all, I'm already finished with this with this chart and the camera wasn't even on, but that's okay because we're going to start over. So anyway, it's Jazzy right here and I'm back with another video, another reading. Um it's been a while since I've done a reading. Um if you would like your charts read I normally I would charge. But I will also accept donations if you would like to donate. Donations will if they help me to um, get these videos out and get these videos going. So if you want to donate, that's on you. If you want to donate, no pressure. And if you want a chart read, if for some reason you cannot pay for it or whatever, because right now, I'm I, honestly I've been charging, but I've been doing them for free to be honest. Um, we'll work out. We'll negotiate in in, in this and that and the third. Um, now I'm doing um, planets, um, Jupiter, Saturn, unit, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, and North Node and South Node, and Lilith, so, and, and the houses, so if you, if you guys were like those charts, like if I already did your chart, but you want to know that information, hit me up, um, I might put out a Snapchat, letting people know as well, so let me know, and then we'll, we'll talk about it. Um, but for this person that I'm reading for, I'm only going to read Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, and Mars to you because I don't think you have an understanding of the planets and how the signs and how the planets work. So I'm going to start off with the easiest planets, okay? Normally I would show your chart, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to read you your chart. Um, also, uh, subscribe to the channel. You should have already did that when you clicked on it, okay? But if you... The person I'm reading for, if you would like to know your Jupiter and, and your North Node and all that, and your houses, I'm just going to break break everything down to you slowly, so it'll be like a three-part or a four-part video. But that's if you want those videos, so you let me know if you want those. But right now, I'll just start you off with the basics. So we're going to start off with your sun sign. So your sun sign represents who you are, okay? It's your personality, which is Aquarius. So Aquarius is, um, they... Are they have in they're in air so I'm sorry I can't talk they have they have an air element okay they are it's a masculine sign and it has a fixed quality which just means that Aquarius is it's hard for Aquarius to adapt it takes a while for Aquarius to adapt to things and it's polar opposite is Leo I'm not going to get into polar opposites. Maybe I will in another video. I, I, I'm actually going to put a video talking about all this stuff. Like the qualities and the polar opposites and, and what the plans mean. That way the, the videos will not take as long. Uh, they'd be like 20 minutes long and that, that's too long. But um, it's polar opposite is Leo. Um, it's ruler is Uranus. It's funny. <laughs> I will get into that what that planet like how that planet applies to you in another video if you would like me to do that but uranus represents um liberty okay egotistical liberty okay and um yeah that's it uh, yeah i said everything i need to say so what aquarius aquarius is are into like changing the world with technology and they have the humanitarian spirit like they are the most they use their intelligence to change the world like think of people like Steve Jobs think of people like Bill Gates think of people like I know Bill Gates nobody really likes Bill, nobody likes Bill Gates right now but think of Bill Gates think of people who who created Sony think of the people who created Nintendo these people change the world using technology and they probably had, don't get me copyrighted, they probably had um, Aquarius in their charts somewhere because that's an Aquarian thing to do, is to use their intelligence to create something that can better the world or better the environment, okay? Um, Bob Marley was an Aquarius, just to give you a hint on how Aquarius is art because he wanted to change the world. He used his music to change the world. So you use your, whatever it is that you're passionate about to change the world. Aquarius is a quirky people. Like they're into, they're not in, they're, they're not into things that are the norm. Like 
Like, they may seem like they follow the crowd, but they really do not follow the crowd. Aquarius is, like I said, are the most intelligent. Um, I gotta stop saying um because it, it irritates me when I do it. Okay, now here's the downside to being in Aquarius. You may be a bit argumentative, and it's not because you're passionate about something. It could be because people are just stupid. People are just stupid. And Aquariuses hate dumb people. I'm not even going to use the word intelligence because see, dumb people don't understand what intelligence is. So, I'm not going to say they hate unintelligent people. They hate dumb people. They hate ignorant people. They hate it. They, they, they hate it. And Aquariuses are such trollers that they will use arguing to troll you know to make someone feel stupid you know see i mean all air signs we are the best shoulders i'm gemini i don't know if you can see that but gemini uh i'm a gemini they're all the best shoulders but we have different ways of trolling aquariuses argue gemini's throw shade libras they kind of just flip stuff around and use their charm to make people feel dumb so yeah that, that, that's 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 all, that's all I can say about Aquarius. But Aquarius are really they're good people. They're cool people. Um, so your moon is Capricorn. Now moon is for your emotions and intellect. No, not intellect. Intuition. Moon is for your emotions and intuition. It's in Capricorn. So Capricorn is a feminine sign. It feminine. Sorry, Capricorn is a feminine sign. I'm, I'm talking a little fast. Um, Capricorn. Has, is an earth sign and it has a cardinal quality which just means hard work putting in that work action right and capricorns are all about action as long as it makes them money <laughs> and working hard and being goal oriented to make money okay i'm just i'm just playing but capricorns they they do like money a lot okay it's polar opposite is cancer and its ruler is saturn which I will go over that in another video. And Saturn is represents discipline. So with Capricorn, when it comes to their emotions, they can be a bit I mean Capricorns as a like they're just discreet. They only trust a select few people. Not because they have trust issues or anything like that. They just don't like their business out there unless it's making them money. Unless you're promoting a Capricorn like with their business or something they don't want their business in the street so most likely they don't want you know people to know about their emotions they only trust a select few people and with emotions capricorn it takes a while for a capricorn to get over their emotions it takes them a while but eventually they will when it comes to decision when it comes to decision making and that in their intuition they are very wise and discerning, which means they will never really put them, themselves in a bad situation. They think of all the possible outcomes. It's like the opposite with Pisces. Pisces, they make their, their decisions and base their intuitions off fantasies. And sometimes, most times, it's correct. But sometimes it's not. But they are the dreamers, whereas Capricorn... They're, they're, they're realists. They, they, they are realists. Okay. So if you date somebody and they have Pisces in their charts or they are Pisces, you're going to be irritated with them a lot. Because Pisces is more realistic. I mean, Capricorn is more realistic while Pisces is their dreamers. I'm sorry. There's a lot of distractions out here. Okay. So... When it comes to your emotions, you definitely only, you definitely, you don't like people in your business and it may, you may come off cold, but it's not that you're cold. It's just that you don't want your business out there and you only talk about your emotions with people, just a select few people that you know are not going to tell your, tell your business. And when it comes to your decision making and your intuition, you're very wise. You don't you, you try not to put yourself in dumb situations. You definitely think before you 
the heck? You definitely think before you do things. So let's talk about Mercury. Now, Mercury is also Aquarius, and Mercury represents communication and intellect. So Aquarius is, they like to communicate, they like to talk about the world, and they actually, they believe that communication is key. That communication can better the world. So it kind of goes hand in hand with your sun sign, you know, with your sun, you know, being Aquarius. So you like to use your, have intelligent conversation. You like to teach as well as learn. You think, you believe that communication is the key to save a lot of situations. However, you don't like ignorant people. You don't like to talk to ignorant people. <laughs> and sometimes, like I said, with your son, like, you, you could be a bit argumentative at times because, and I'm not saying you, you may have control over that, but if you do not have control over it, you you definitely will prove somebody, you know, like, you prove to people how ignorant they are or how stupid they are because there is a difference between being dumb and being ignorant. Ignorant is not knowing any, be any better. That's when we get confused. Ignorant is not knowing any better. Dumb is when you know better and you don't care. So, keep that in mind. Now, your Venus and Mars. Now, I'm, I'm grouping these two together because this is the first time I've seen a chart like this. Your, your Venus is at, should actually be your Mars and your Mars should be your Venus. Because your Venus is Aries. Your Mars is Taurus. Venus rules Taurus. Mars rules Aries. Okay? And then, which makes it even more interesting, is your polar opposites also rule, you know, like, Aries polar opposite is Libra, and Venus also rules Libra, and your polar opposite for, for Taurus is um, Scorpio, and Scorpio, Mars rules Scorpio, so I find that to be interesting, but let's get back into it. So Venus is how we love and how we want to be loved. Aries is a masculine sign. Aries is a fire sign. It has a, it also has a cardinal quality, which means when it comes to love, you're putting in work. You're a lawyer. You're doing everything you have to do to make your partner happy and to make yourself happy. Uh, it's polar opposite. It's Libra, like I said. I pretty much explained it. So, okay. So, I had no idea that, you know, Aries were so lovey-dovey in love because they have the, this leadership attitude, this me first attitude because they are the leaders of the Zodiac. Capricorn is the oldest of the Zodiac, but Aries is the leader of the Zodiac. So people get that confused a lot. Even me, I had to learn that. So when it comes to everything else, Aries is serious most of the time. They can be playful, but when it comes to work and, and, and putting in that work, they are serious. They want people to think like them. They want people to like do what they do, and they usually are the examples because they are. They have that leadership mentality. However, in love, they're a little more lovey-dovey. I thought they were like real aggressive in love. They can be, but they're really not. They are so cute and so innocent in love. Even when they are aggressive, it comes off as cute. So, when it comes to love, you want someone who's a leader, not a follower. You want somebody who's a flirt. You want someone who's sure of themselves, who's confident. In fact, that's, that's, that's in your introduction, you know, when you meet people. However, the, a problem may come is leadership. So for Aries, to be honest, it probably better to date somebody who is a leader, but who doesn't mind being like a follower, I guess. Like like letting them take charge in a relationship. Because if you date somebody who also wants to take charge, that could be a problem. Because one of you are, one of you is gonna have to like, okay, you know, so. So just keep that in mind with Aries. It's the opposite of Libra. Like Libra can, they can, they're able to be in relationships and be in situations. Whereas with, with Aries, sometimes they can be a bit, you know, me first. Whereas Libra is partnership. So just keep that in mind. 
I hope you can see me because it's kind of dark out here. Um, and last but not least, it's getting to Mars. Now, I already explained your Mars as far as like what you need to know about Taurus, but I'm gonna get into it. So, Mars represents your um, work ethic, your anger, and aggression and sex now because of your age i'm not going so deep into the sex parts because you can wait you can wait a little bit when you turn 18 and when you turn of age i'll do a video discussing that or maybe i'll just do like just a mars and taurus and you know for everyone okay now taurus is the opposite of aries like aries likes everything quick i forgot to mention aries falls in love very quickly they fall very quickly. They like everything quick. Taurus, they're loyal like Aries is, but Taurus likes everything slow. They like to take their time, patience. So when it comes to the work ethic, Tauruses take their time. And Tauruses can work with people sometimes. Aries, they will work with people if they have to but they prefer to work alone okay and with taurus they really believe in patience taurus a taurus is the type taurus is the type of sign that will write a book and a book may take five years to write but they're still going to write that book and it's going to be released because tauruses believe they're goal oriented just like air just like aries is the only difference with all the, the only other difference is Taurus has a fixed quality. So Aries does not. So with Taurus, is, it takes them a while to kind of adapt to things. Okay? Now, when it comes to anger, that also applies. It takes a long time for Taurus to react. But it also takes a long time for Taurus to get over. Because they have to shift their... It's just like, 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 for example, if somebody, if you found out that somebody was cheating on you, it's going to take you a while to get over that. Just like with Capricorn. But the difference is Capricorn, it just takes them a long time. Taurus, it takes them a while to actually react to it. Like to really, really react to it, to sink in their brains. And then once they do, and then they're angry, they're gonna be very, very angry. But it takes them a while because the anger will stick. So if you're like, now maybe you may have this under control. This may not have to apply to you. But if you are one of those people who are like, why am I? Why does my ang Why do I stay angry for a long time? Like, what's the point? It's because your Mars is Taurus. That's why your anger stays for so long. Like you, you can get an or you can have an argument with someone and they're they're not even angry about it anymore they, they're over it within an hour for you it might take a few days maybe a week maybe two weeks <laughs> and sex i'm not going to get into it but all i want to say is it applies like patience you know all that it applies um i will say this this is this is not, it's not a sexual thing but it does apply to sex tauruses are sensual I'll just leave it at that. They're sensual. All right, so that's it with your chart. I guess I can get into your masculine and feminine energy. Sorry. Your masculine energy is five, and your feminine energy is also five, which means your balance. Now, your masculine energy just represents your physical energy, while your feminine energy represents your mental energy and your balance. So that just means you have no problems with being physical, but you also have no problems with using your brain as well. You are the type of person who knows when to act in a situation. You know what to do, what not to do. And you're probably the voice of reason. People probably come to you for advice all the time because you're able to see po both points of view, kind of like a Libra. Now, just when you think of this, think of Libra, okay? Um, now this isn't, this sorry this doesn't mean now this doesn't mean hold on now this doesn't mean that you can't go out of whack okay but and be and you know lose balance but when you do lose balance it'll be so easy for you to get back into balance a lot of some it's it's crazy because when i started doing readings like a lot of people were not balanced at all 
and now I'm getting people who are balanced. So that's 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 amazing, you know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you would like to know your Jupiter, your Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Lilith sign, North Node, South Node, and your houses, let me know. Um, you can DM me, and I will put those videos out as soon as I can. I'm sorry this video took about I don't know a week, maybe a week and a half. I recently just started back at my internship, but due to the pandemic getting worse, we thought it was getting better, but it's getting worse, and it looks like I'm going to have more time to do these readings. Um, but yeah, if you would like to, for me to go over those plans with you, just let me know. Hit me up on Instagram. I will more than happily, more than happily do it for you. And as far as the other stuff is concerned with everyone else if you guys if i did a birth chart for you and you want to know those plants in the in the houses and all that hit me up we can discuss it and go over it and i'll see you guys when i see you guys hope you can see me because it is kind of dark out here but hope you can see me um and i'll see you guys when i see you guys bye